So this is pretty strange to me. It says they tuned pass blocking, but did they break something to fix something else? Because this is a five on five. I'm not even doing the full setup. And these outside cornerbacks are coming in very easily. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable mutt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the Mad Cheese as always. Got my first update video of Madden 23. This is a very specific update that really seemed to address a very specific issue. But before I get into that, if you guys want to see me do videos like this throughout the entire Madden 23 season, every time there's an update, if you guys want me to let you know what the changes were, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section, and be sure to be a subscriber. Other than that, let's go let's get right into this video. Now, as far as the updates, this is a very specific patch. They didn't really tell you too much. They didn't get specific. Like you normally get your update patch notes. You go straight to EA's site for that. I couldn't even find that. I tried going straight to their site. They don't even have a full breakdown of what they changed in the game. I didn't even know an update was coming. Everybody said an update was coming. Typically updates roll out on Thursdays. So to get a Monday update is kind of strange, but they did roll out an update and it doesn't really seem to be, it's almost like a shadow update, which is like they just really went after a very few specific things. But I did find on some unofficial Madden sites some uh, you know some literature about what they you know changed in the game now the most important one is probably going to be the first one tuning to pass block locomotion for tackles to get deeper against edge pressure so what they're basically saying is the offensive tackles the left and right tackle will do a better job of basically rotating or they'll be a little bit quicker to get around the edge because honestly it's kind of easy to beat uh, you know the beat the offensive line at the edge this year I also find that the guards are part of the problem and it doesn't say that they really mess with that so this could just be the tackles which is still going to make it kind of easy to beat because a lot of times the guards can't rotate quick enough to take up edge blitzes and they, they get beat the same way everyone's suspicion though is at the end of the day that this patch was all about the 3-3 nickel loop blitz which everybody's running or a lot of people are running I didn't even start running it because at the end of the day I knew they were going to patch it and that's exactly what happened. So I'm going to go, sh I'm going to show you guys what happened. So basically all you had to do, number one, for some reason, this guy, I've noticed he walks out a lot now. I don't know if that's meant to mess that up, but you have to walk him back. It definitely adds another step. Uh, but all you really had to do before was pinch your linebackers, QB contain, gas pass, bring your user down here over the, over the defensive tackle. That's pretty much it. And a lot of times these guys would just loop around uh, and not get picked up. Now, now there Jalen Hurts ran into it for whatever reason, but that was not by design. You could see that this does not work the exact same way. We're going to do that again. A lot of times I noticed that these linebackers and QB contains, they just like run a lot slower. They're playing a lot more hesitantly. Like they're, I mean, that first of all, they're taking a really wide looping angle and they're not getting there at the end of the day the, the tackles are rotating much better if we watch the tackles here like i said they do get much deeper you can see i mean he's not blocking anybody but he drops all the way back around uh the left tackle drops at a decent uh depth on the left side but in reality it's the guard that makes the play you can see the tackle does get around but look how the guard comes around i mean the, the linemen in general are doing a much better job of sliding their feet and staying out in front especially when it comes to this particular blitz let's do an experiment to see if it's only this particular blitz let's pick another wide looping uh you know around the edge type blitz like the db fire two out of the dollar three two i'm gonna go ahead i'm just gonna spread these guys because they said that they're really trying to stop you know this is meant to stop outside blitzes this is a very good outside blitz let's just see what happens here i'm not going to get involved i'm just going to stay back let's see if these tackles can rotate to pick up these cornerbacks you can see number one the cornerback does get him free so this first play could be telling number one lane johnson just took the guy right in front of him he didn't really react to the cornerback which is kind of a problem like i said the guards have been a bigger issue in my opinion when it comes to outside blitzes you can see number i mean kelsey gets knocked over which is ridiculous but you can see this guard here rotates very slowly the same way and he can't really help out if you want to try to pick up that cornerback which is coming in free he can't really help out for that now on the other side the guard does a better job of recognizing it at the start and picking it up you can see they do a pretty good job of taking out the, the, the left side but like i said i do figure that you know these edge blitzes are still going to be there and a large part of it will be because these guards can't react in time to get out and take out these blitzes so i'm gonna do that again like i said the cornerback i'm gonna leave the cornerbacks in tight i'm gonna leave them in tight do that QB contain and see if he picks up the cornerback now. Once again, there, he does not pick up. He picks up on the end and just lets the cornerback come in free. So this is pretty strange to me. It says they tuned pass blocking, but did they break something to fix something else? Because this is a five on five. I'm not even doing the full setup. 
and these outside cornerbacks are coming in very easily right under the right tackle's noses. Now let's see what happens if we make no adjustments because this is something that, you know, now with no adjustments, the right tackle picked the play up. With no adjustments at all, you can see the right side does their job. They slide over, but the slightest adjustment, and I'm not even making a lot of adjustments. I'm really just pressing the cornerbacks and a lot of and guessing pass sometimes i'm putting them in keeping contains it doesn't take much at all to break this new pass blocking system is my whole point now something else that i noticed uh that they aren't really talking about is that tight ends are blocking much better as well which is something that i mentioned in a very early video in madden 23 do not block the tight end mm -hmm. In Madden 23, blocking the tight end is just a quick way to get sacked. <laughs> tight end's inability to block was going to be a very big problem. So let's go and let's pick the Saints drag again. We're just going to pick a blitz where we have, you know, maybe six guys blocking. So right here, we're just going to pick the SS blitz zero. This time we're going to do the same setup, only we're going to block our tight end. The original video I pointed out that tight ends cannot block at all. They just get run over. And you can see on this play, he doesn't do a very good job. i got to get rid of the ball very well, but he still did better than in the original video. I'm going to do that again, as I think that might have just been a fluke. I'm not really sure, but the tight end didn't just, just let him, you know, through like a turnstile. He actually picked up somebody. Here he actually rotates over and does a pretty good job. So there, I mean, my main goal wasn't really to complete a pass. I just wanted to watch what these guys were going to do, and let's see exactly what happened here. Number one, the tight end doesn't get just, he just doesn't get beat right off the, off the gate. He doesn't hold the block very long, but he still does a better job. We'll actually slide our protection because that was something that wasn't really helping before. And you can see, I mean, they're, they're not communicating with who's coming in, but the tight end is doing a much better job of blocking. So, you know, he's not communicating with the line very well, but look how long he holds the block of the guy in front of him. He's not just a turnstile anymore, which is great. So they definitely fixed the tight end blocking. Let's see if they fixed the running back blocking. Let's just go and let's pick a play where we can put the running back on a block. Running backs didn't block very well uh, before the patch either. So let's see if they do a little better here. Running back, I mean, he really didn't do much there. So from what I was watching, Kamara didn't really seem like, or Kamara didn't really seem like he did much. Let's go and let's do that again. He, I want to see, you know, if he blocks the guy for a long period of time. That was a much better pickup. So, you know, running back blocking and tight end blocking both appear to be much better. But I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this, Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section as always. I'll have a video popping up uh, based off of some of the concepts that I showed today that still work. So if you want to make sure that you improve your offense, I'll have some offensive videos at the bottom of the screen. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below.